It's time for Yogi's Tech Tip. Mm. It's time for a Yogi's Tech Tip. All right, so I got a special presentation today. This is called a flex hone, obviously, but its sole purpose in life is to deglaze the inside of a cylinder specifically engine cylinders. So you'll see that after many, many years or miles on an engine block, especially in the cylinders, they'll become glazed over. They almost look shiny and reflective. So out of the factory, they are not like that. That's caused by years and years of the pistons just going up and down and up and down and polishing basically the inside of the cylinder. So this particular tool here is designed to eliminate the, 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 the glazing and restore the roughness that the piston rings need to get a really good seal. So it doesn't take very much material off either. So you don't have to worry about reboring out your cylinders or getting bigger pistons, none of that. This is 240 grit ball hone. And when you take a look at this thing, you'll see that it's actually little balls attached to metal pins or something. Uh, and each one of them is individual and they uh, flex. And the whole idea is that you'll get a consistent coverage around or inside of the cylinder. So there's a couple of steps that you need to do in order to begin this process. Uh, first and foremost, you need a lubricant. Uh, flex Hone recommends using their Flex Hone lubricant. Uh, they also recommend a 10W30, that's what this is here, to completely lubricate the flex hone for the first time, as well as lubricating the inside of the cylinder. And then you need a drill that will give you an RPM around 500 to 800 RPM. So you don't need anything too fast or you won't get the effect that you need. The instructions are pretty simple. You insert the flex hone as it's spinning and you pull it out as it's still spinning. So you're gonna do about between 50 to 100 strokes inside of the cylinder, and then uh, you pick up the speed really, really fast when you're ready to pull out. You pick up the speed really, really fast when you're ready to pull out, and then uh, take it out and you'll get the 45 degree angle cross hats that you're looking for. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate the flex hone and uh, get it ready for insertion. It's a lot of double entendres there. Oh, and one last thing. You need to be prepared to clean the metal after it's done, right? So you don't want to leave the oil residue and the metallic residue sitting in your cylinder too long. At, that, at this point, you've pretty much taken a, a thin, very, very thin layer of metal out of there. Metal is metal, and metal doesn't go well mixing with oil or fuel or anything like that. So we need to get rid of that. And what better way to clean a cylinder than using a trusty toilet brush. Now, this is, hasn't been used yet, so even if it did get used, it's been cleaned, but I promise it hasn't been used. But take a look at this. Look at that, perfect. So after I hone the cylinders, I'll go in with some hot soapy water and clean all the, the crud out of it. Now keep in mind, this is being hot tanked anyway. The engine block is being hot tanked. That's a future video, uh, but Hot tanking also removes all the oil, so I still need to lube it up. So in between the time I've finished cleaning the cylinders and Saturday, which is a couple of days from now, and you don't want something called flash rusting to occur on your bare metal. So I'm gonna take care of that. But this hot soapy water, let's get busy. All right, so the first step obviously is to get the oil completely covered on every single one of these little honing balls. And uh, so I got my 10W30 here, and I'm just gonna kinda do a cross coverage, and then I'll turn it. I think that's pretty good. Looks like every one of them is covered. All right. The next step is to lubricate the inside of the cylinders, and then hit them one at a time. So again, I'm gonna go about 60, and then I'm gonna speed it up for the last few, and then uh, pull it out and move on to the next one. And you wanna get them nice and lubed up.
All right, so again, you want to start spinning it before you enter. All right, you hit it again. The next one, getting oil splattered everywhere, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. So as you can see, it made a mess <laughs> everywhere. Uh, this gray stuff obviously is part of the flex hone as well as metal. So I gotta make sure I clean up all this mess. All right, so let's take a look. So it's pretty sludgy, but it uh, can't really tell anything at this point. So I'm gonna clean it up and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is my first pass. Uh, I believe I can do a little bit better here along the top dead center on uh, cylinder one here, two, three, and four. All have similar little remnants of rust and just build up from where the uh, crown of the piston sits at top dead center. But all in all, I mean, look at the cross hatching on there. I'd say that's pretty awesome. I'm sure I have stuff all over my face, but if I don't, I know there's stuff all over my lens. I can see it and all over the floor. And you saw all the oil just flicking everywhere. So I'm kind of glad that I put my cabinets here. And, uh, oh, rest assured, I know this stuff over here got some flex on it, but I already said I'm hot tanking all that. So before you start flaming me, that's what's going on. So anyway, here is the final result of the honing. So as you can see, it is a perfect cross hatch. That's what you're looking for is the 245 degree angle cross hatch pattern in your piston. Yeah, I'd say that's a, a successful honing. So that's awesome. And now it's a uh, time to drink yo, a beer. Yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I can truly be moody. I could have played the bridge in the movies. I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time. That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap. Snap, crackle, pop, mind fried to a crisp, making MC.